Toto. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Internet, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. No way, Auntie M. We're in Lawville, USA, population one. I'm Courtney at New Media Rights, and in the next minute or so, I'm going to tell you a big secret. You can reuse and republish the original Wizard of Oz book and the 1920 movie without asking for permission or paying anyone a dime. However, if you want to reuse the 1939 Judy Garland movie, you're out of luck because that's still protected by copyright. The secret is there's something called public domain. Movies and books in the public domain are no longer under copyright and can be used freely and without permission. All creative work in the United States created before the year 1923 is in the public domain. This is good for you because the book The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum was published in 1900 and the first movie version was made in 1920, so feel free to use those. And even though it was made after 1923, the 1925 adaptation of The Wizard of Oz is public domain. Which brings me to my next point. There are two common ways a movie can fall into a public domain. The first is that the copyright owner forgot to re-register the film after the copyright expired, which was a requirement before 1963. The second is that the copyright owner didn't put a notice of copyright on the work when it was published. That second one actually happened in Night of the Living Dead, a movie that is pretty much the complete opposite of The Wizard of Oz. Because there is no notice on that movie, anyone can publish and distribute a DVD of Night of the Living Dead. But when you ask the question, is The Wizard of Oz in the public domain, you probably weren't thinking about the books, the obscure silent films, or completely unrelated zombie movies. I'm pretty sure you're wondering about the very famous Judy Garland version from 1939. Unfortunately for you, that version still remains under copyright. That means that you cannot use the images, the specific characters, or the songs from the 1939 version without permission, unless you follow the fair use rules. Now, you probably got confused when I said you can't use the characters. You might be wondering why this is true when the books are in the public domain. What I meant is that you can't replicate the characters as they appear in the 1939 version, but you can copy the characters from the book and any version that's in the public domain. Sound confusing? Well, yeah, it is. That's why there are copyright professionals like New Media Rights. You can contact us and we'll answer your specific legal questions about The Wizard of Oz for free. But we are a nonprofit, so can you please give us some money? It keeps these videos going and you can do it so easily. Just go to our YouTube channel or newmediarights.org. And if you do, I might just draw you a picture of the Tin Man.